Hello everyone, today I'm going to make some dulce de leche. This stuff is a spread that you can put on crepes or into cupcakes or just eat out of the jar if you want. Basically, it's the Latin American version of Nutella, but in my opinion, way, way tastier. It has a nice caramelly, milky flavor, and also in the process of showing you how to make this, I'm going to kind of show you what effect pressure has on cooking. Okay, we could start by actually making some condensed milk like I did in the powdered milk video, but today let's just take it easy. So really, we just need one ingredient, and that's a can of sweetened condensed milk. In essence, all we're going to do is cook this on a pretty low boil for about two to three hours, and bam, we have dulce de leche. Now, when you're looking for cans, try to look for cans that don't have an easy pull tab because they could be a point of failure and kitchen explosions are really fun. For me, I wasn't able to find ones without pull tab, but nonetheless, I was able to avoid a kitchen explosion this week. So as I mentioned, I'm going to try to give you guys extra bang for your buck and I'm going to try to show you how pressure can affect cooking. So essentially, there's two methods for cooking dulce de leche with sweetened condensed milk. Method one, we can create a small hole in the can by either using a finishing nail or in my case, just pulling the tab ever so slightly. This will create a way for the pressure inside the can to equalize with with the atmosphere and stay at atmospheric pressure as it heats up. The second method is actually to keep the can sealed as we cook it. And this does something interesting. As the can heats up, the internal pressure will rise and reach a higher temperature than if it were to equalize with atmosphere. Basically, this can will act like a mini pressure cooker. So the higher temperature will drive the Maillard reaction, which is responsible for the color and the taste, faster than it would at lower temperatures. So in theory, this will cook quicker than the vented can. But enough of theory, I'm an experimentalist, so let's show this. So to show this, I took two separate cans of sweetened condensed milk. One can had a small tiny hole, and the other one was sealed. For the sealed can, we can simply just place it on its side so it doesn't bob around while it's cooking. And when we pour the water in, make sure that it's entirely submerged. For the vented can, we don't want water to get into it, so I'll elevate it using a bowl, making sure that all of the air is out of the bowl before submerging it so it doesn't bob around. Okay. So now we can add the water. So just add enough water to come up to just below the top of the vented can. And again, ensuring that the sealed can is completely submerged. So now the easy part, we just need to heat this up and allow it to cook for about three hours on a low simmer. So for me, I just covered my pot in case there was a catastrophic failure. And so once they come to a simmer, we just play the waiting game. And while you're playing the waiting game, you can play a more fun game like Fallout or Super Mario. Just make sure to check back on it every 30 minutes or so, just to make sure the vented can hasn't tipped over or that there's enough water to completely submerge the sealed can. Just let this go for a grand total of around two to three hours. In my opinion, two hours might be enough. At which point we can just turn off the heat, carefully fish out the cans, and let them cool for at least 30 minutes. This is especially important for the sealed can because it's pressurized, and opening it before it's completely cooled will result in, well, this and it could go a lot worse. So now let's analyze the result. The vented can really started to turn into dulce de leche and you can really see it here as I start to mix it up. It's not quite there though. And the sealed can has clearly reached the dulce de leche stage. And in fact, it's probably been there for the past hour. So the moral to the story is that pressurized foods cook much quicker than unpressurized foods. And obviously this is a huge generalization, but for the most part it sticks. And this is why pressure cookers are such useful things. If you go to a higher pressure, you can cook things at a higher temperature and this allows you to cook things quicker. So once everything's cooled down, pour out the dulce de leche and enjoy it. Make some crepes, share it with some friends, and just have some fun. Lastly, I would like to thank Jam and Golfer for sharing my video on Reddit. Uh, this channel is still super small, and so I really appreciate any help with spreading the word. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me. Well, thanks. Bye.